welcome students in the lecture series of digital electronics today we will discuss the combinational logic with msi and lsi as well as a uh, four bit binary parallel adder circuits we know that the several logic gates are included in single ic package means integrated circuit package it becomes economically to use the many number of gates from already used package even if by doing so we increase the total number of gates moreover some of the interconnection among the gates in many ic's are internal to the chip and it's more economically to use the many internal interconnection as possible in order to minimize the number of wires between the external pins the integrated circuit ic it is not the count of gate that determines the cost but the number and type of ic's employed and the number of external interconnected connections needed to implement the given function so there is a different two type of the integrated circuits are there msi and lsi msi means medium scale integrated circuit ic why lsi is the large scale there are numerous occasions where the classical method will not be produced to match the combination circuit for implementing a given function truth table simplification of procedure it becomes become too cumbersome if the in number of input varies excessively large and the final circuit which you obtain dictated the implemented with the random connection of ssi small scale integration where the number of gates are less than 10 in one small package in many cases the application of alternate design procedure can be produce a combinational circuit for a given function which is far better than the one obtained the following classical design method the classical method consists of a general procedure that if allowed guarantees to produce a result however before applying a classical method we always why always wise right to investigate the possible way of alternate method which may be more different for the particular problem at hand the first question is arise and its answer before going to going through a detailed design of the combinational circuit is whether the function is already available in ic package suppose i want to make something a small Part of the circuit is ready-made available or not? A numerous, many type of the MSI devices are available commercially, and these devices perform the specific digital commonly employed in the design of digital computer system design. If MSI device cannot be found to produce exactly function needed, a resourceful designer may be used to formulate the method. So as to incorporate the MSI device circuit, the selection of MSI component in preference to SSI gates is exactly important, since it will be very invariably result in a consideration the reduction of IC packages and interconnect wire. So in this chapter, we will deal with the different combinational popular combinational circuit design. other than the classical procedure all the examples which we demonstrated the internal construction of existing msi functions thus we present the functions a familiarity with the available msi function and is very important not only in the design of the combinational circuit also the design of more complicated digital computer design remember that thing the msi and lsi circuit can be applied directly to the design and implementation of any combinational circuit for technique of combinational logic design a means of msi lsi are introduced in the next half chapter portions this technique may be used to general properties of the decoder multiplexer read only memory means rom and a programmable logic array pla these four ic components have a large application 
and their use in implementing the combinational circuit as described in many other applications. First, we will discuss, let us, a binary parallel adder, full adder which we already discussed. So, this is the circuit designer of binary parallel adder. Okay. Why it is called as a parallel? Because more than, suppose normally we use the byte or nibble operation of binary. The sum of two bits and previous carry, it is called as a full adder. And two binary numbers, n bit, suppose I would use the n bit binary number, two numbers are there. Maybe suppose A uh, 4 bits and uh, B also 4 bit. Okay. With previous carry in. So I want to do this operation. The result is carry out and sum 4 bit. Okay. This is the block diagram. Let's explain the things. So, consider two binary numbers, A and B, both have a 4-bit number, like is in this example shown that our agent A, A is also 4-bit and addend is also 4-bit. So, parallel add, that means the parallelly it's add with this two number and generate the result. So, first we have to consider the actual carry because this C in, here it is C i, both are same, this C in and C i. So, when a pair of bits are added to a full adder, the circuit produces a carry to be used with a pair of bits, one significant position higher. Okay, like I suppose here, the bits are added with a full adder, one by one. So, this is the my full adder one, which is connected cascading to the full adder two. The output of this carry, C out, is connected as a C in. Okay, this is my input and this is the output of the first header, C out. And it is called as a C2. C2 means a carry out in for the second stage and which is output and generated. Similarly, the, this is the third full header where the output of the second carry, C out, it connected as a C in in this stage. And this is the full adder 4, where the output of this stage is connected with the input. And this is my final output, carry out. So, C i plus 1, which is generated in each stage. Give me that thing. So, the inputs and outputs of this full adder circuit uh, combined above, the input carry C1 in the least significant position to be 0. Okay, suppose C1 here. This C1, so it is 0 here, C1. So 0 plus 1 plus 1. So carry in is 0. A1 is 1 here. And B1 is 1 here. Okay, so 0 plus 1 plus 1. The sum is 0. And the carry 1 is generated. This carry and result is 0. This carry will go into the next stage. Here. Okay, so now here the C in is 1. At that time, the A2 and B2 is also 1. A2 is 1 and B2 is 1. So 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1. Means carry is also 1 and sum is 1 in this full header. Now, this one carry will be going to the next stage here. This one, where A3 and B3 both are 0. So, 0 plus 0 plus 1, the sum is 1 and there is no carry in this stage. Okay, this 0, no carry is generated. Now, so there is no carry, the in final stage 1, 0, where A4 is 1, B4 is 0, and carry input is 0. So, 0 plus 1 plus 0, it is 1, 
So sum is 1 and final carry output is 0. So the sum of 2 n bit and a binary error A and B can be predicted in two ways. One is the series phase problem or in parallel. The series addition method can be used one full address circuit and storage device to hold its index output key. And the pair of bits A and B are transferred serially. Okay, but here it is in parallel. Huh? Because all bits are connected in parallelly, there is no one by one. So suppose there is a first input this one, what is related, then second, then third and fourth. Now this one is not that. This binary parallel adder. It is called as a binary parallel adder. A binary parallel adder is a digital function that produces the arithmetic sum of two binary number in parallel. We are doing this is in parallel fashion. So the agent bits A and the addend bits of B are designated by subscription number from right to the left side. Here right to the left hand side. In this way procedure we are doing. So it consists of full letter connected in cascading with output carry of one stage is into input carry of the another full adder. The next full adder as shown in this figure. So, 4 bit parallel adder. This is called as a 4 bit parallel adder. Why? Because it is parallelly add 4 bit operation. The IC package is also available. Remember that thing. 4 bit full adder, one single IC is available where the final output some 4 bit sum and one carry output is in uh, available ready made available in ICs. It has 4 terminal agent bits, 4 input terminal added bits, 1 input terminal carry in and outputs are 4 terminal sum bits output and 2 terminal for input and output carries. 10 bit parallel adder requires sometime maybe short question ask that uh, I want to design n bit parallel adder. So n bit parallel adder require n full adder circuit. Remember that thing. N full adder circuit. It can be construction from for 4 bit, 2 bit, and 1 bit full adder ICs. Suppose I have a, this 4 bit full adder I, a circuit in one IC package. In this one IC package, I want to make 8 bit full adder. So what I will do, I will connect one 4-bit full adder circuit, one 4-bit full adder circuit with another 4-bit full adder. Let me show you how it can be possible. Four bit full adder, one. And second. So here for some output S0 to S4, and in the second circuit, the for some output is S5 to S6, 7, and 8. If the output of this carry is carry out. Here it is in carry out, it is in carry in. So finally we obtain 8 bit sum and C out. So in this way we can also design 8 bit full adder with the help of 4 bit full adder circuit. So 4 bit full adder is a typical example of MSI means medium scale integration function. It can be used in many applications involving the arithmetic operations. Observe that the design of this circuit may be classical method would require two table of 2 raised to 9 5 1 2 entries. And since there are 9 input to the circuit by using the iterative method of cascading and already known the function, where we are able to obtain the simple and well organized implementation. Let us take one application of MSI 4 bit full adder circuit, a combinational circuit. Suppose the problem statement is given that 
we have to design a BCD to access three code converter with the four bit full header circuit. We know that the input BCD, BCD means binary coded decimal. Where 0 to 9 are valid number. While well, access 3 code is BCD plus 3. Okay, BCD plus 3. So, in the logical operation, addition is there. Addition. So, addition is there and uh, BCD code is 4 bit. Access code is 4 bit. So, there is required 4 bit full header circuit. To satisfy this problem statement where the circuit is such that our circuit have a this is my circuit. Circuit have a BCD input and access 3 output ok so any BCD access 3 3 3 decimal is equal to binary 0 0 1 1 so what we will do we will do we take a one full header circuit ok we take one full header circuit here and this full header circuit have a as we already discussed in the uh, previous topic that every full header circuit have a 4 bit edged, 4 bit added, some 4 bit, this is input C in and C5. Our logic we want the output is BCD. First input is BCD, so we will take con convert here BCD, add 3. So my this input is fixed 3 in decimal. This is my BCD input. Okay. BCD input directly we connect here in any input A. The addition can be easily made, implemented by means of 4 bit full adder. Okay. BCD input digit is applied to input A. Input B, B is set to be constant 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So 0, 0, 1, 1. This one. This done by applying logic 1 to B1 and B2 and logic 0 to B3 and B4 and also C1 because our input carry is 0. So here input carry is also connected to 0 or physically connected. Physically directly 1 means the VCC supply and this signal whose value depend on IC logic family. Okay. Suppose the TTL logic family is so of 3.5 volt and logic 0 is equal to the ground. And the S output which is generated as a access 3 output equivalent to this way. So in this way we can use not only full adder but many applications we can use this full adder circuit. So this 4 bit full adder circuit can be also useful for the code conversion. In code conversion like as BCD to access 3 we can use it. So remember that thing this Implementation require one IC package and five wire connection, not included input and output. Five wire connection is one, two, three, four, and five. So in this way, we can use the binary parallel full adder circuit for our any application. I hope is it making sense to all of you how we can use uh, MSI circuit. Today we discuss four bit full adder, we parallel adder where the Cascading single 4 bit adder connected and make the 4 bit full adder, which can be useful for 8, 12, or any number of bits full adder circuit. As well as the full adder circuit is also useful for any logical design. Like as this example, BCD to access 3 code converter using the 4 bit full adder circuit. I hope is it making sense and which is very helpful to you for the designing MSI circuit. Have a good day.